Okay, so we've taken quite a decent look at the present value of an annuity and uh, the works and now we get to the final thing uh, when it comes to loan repayments and that is the outstanding balance of a loan. So imagine I've taken out a loan and um, this was my present value of my loan and I am making equal payments along the line all the way up to my final uh, uh, payment which is after n payments okay but after a few payments let's say after I've made m payments so m is definitely something so if this is 25 years and I want to know how about after 10 years what is the value of my loan after 10 years what will this value or the outstanding balance be so I've made a bunch of payments how much do I still owe the bank? Okay, so to answer that question is actually very, very, very simple. All we need to do is take a different look at our formula. So here's our formula for the present value of a loan. And what does this formula actually mean? Or what does the values in here represent? You should know, hopefully by now, that X is my recurring payment amount. That's how much I'm investing regularly. Okay. In this case, when it comes to a loan, that's how much I'm paying off on my loan every month or every year or every quarter, however. Okay. Then I is the interest rate that I'm paying per payment. So if it's monthly payment, I'm using monthly interest. And N, this is the important part. N represents how many payments are left. That's actually what N represents. How many in the loan formula? How many payments are left? Okay, which makes this an, a very easy question to answer. For example, in this top example, if 10 years have already gone by, let's say I'm paying back every year okay and 10 years have gone by I still have 15 payments left so the only thing that will change in my formula is n will now re be replaced with 15 and it makes sense because if I were to take the future value of such an annuity I would only have to discount it with 15 time periods and not with the original 25 time periods. Okay, I'm going to leave this there. If, you're under, if you understand this formula and you can have that understanding always. Okay, if I'm at the beginning of my, twin, of my time period when time is zero, I still have all 25 payments left. So just keep in mind that we use, when we're using this formula to work out loan amortization, okay, that's paying back of loans, then N represents how many payments are left. Okay, so next video will be an example.